The boys didn't take the camera, but they are pinning the angoras this morning. It appears to go, go be going smoothly so far. See once we get up to the barn over there. I don't have my shoes on, so I can't go out there. Just saw it happening out my window. Oh, it, it does zoom in more. There we go. They all went in there. Success. Here comes Codizzle. And Izzy. as easy as they <laughs> No joke, that was simple. Well, I tried to get some video of it real quick. Alright guys, so back to this is the I don't know if this is going to be in the same video as the other ones. If it's a new video, welcome. Today is shearing day for the Angoras. So, Angoras get sheared twice a year and their hair is called mohair and it produces uh, a textile that they use to make socks and jackets all kinds of stuff t-shirts just uh, it's a highly sought after fiber because of its softness and it's just really good stuff um, they make uh, cinches for horses for saddles and stuff like that out of it really good um, I read a deal that said they used to use it in airplanes and in cars back in the day because it didn't, I guess it doesn't burn. I don't know if there's any truth to that or not. I've got to grab a panel here. We, uh, we moved all of our portable panels back out to where we store them at. And uh, I'm being lazy guys. I don't want to walk out there and get one. So I'm just going to grab this piece of wire panel that we cut off and stick it over here. Clance is getting everybody brought up. Nala, you kind of not a... Pepper, get back. Don't you do it. Little one, there we go. Y'all get in there. That worked pretty easy. Well, I'd say that went pretty easy for getting them loaded. So, we're off to meet the shearers. So, with just a handful of show goats like these, you know, it's nearly impossible to get a shearer to come here. And yes, we could shear them ourselves, but we've tried that a few times, haven't we, Bob? How does that usually work? four hours. Yeah, what, what those guys can shear and, I mean, they can shear one of these goats. And these guys, they're professionals, but they're all older gentlemen, and they don't get in no hurry, and I don't blame them, but they can shear a goat in probably three or four minutes, probably, maybe five minutes, and it takes us 45 or 50 minutes, nearly an hour to shear each one. We don't got the right kind of clippers and I don't want to invest the money in a set of, of good shears because it, you know, a really good setup would cost you a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars and it's just not worth it to us. Um, I'd much rather jump them in the trailer, run over there to a friend of ours. They've got a handful, they've got more goats than us and, and there'll be two or three families there. So we'll all kind of stockpile it at that one place. And uh, th those shears will just set up in a barn there. They've got a good spot. And, Knock it out. That reminds me, we need to see if we got some sacks in here. So, the thing about this hair is, you don't want to put it in like a trash bag or, oh, it's dark. Let there be light. Um, you don't want to put it in a trash bag. You want to store it in a burlap sack. So, Clance, we, you see them right there? How many we got there? We, really, we need about three. Huh? There's two. Just two? One... Oh, we got three. Perfect. So, um, what we'll do is, let me see that. 
I hope that's enough. That, that ain't going to be enough. We're going to have to get us another sack. Um, these burlap sacks like this is what we stored in. That lets it breathe a little bit so it doesn't mildew or mold. If you put it in a trash bag or a, you know, a plastic feed sack and you tie that top up, it'll just, it's not good for the hair because this hair will go to a, a fiber mill um, and it'll sit there for a few months until the buyers get ready to start buying it. Um, so we want it to store as best we can so that we got a good product for people to buy. And uh, so, yeah. All right, so we got those bags. We got the goats. We're going to go. We've already fed the steers and stuff. We're going to go jump in the pickup and head out. We're going to stop and get some tacos on the way. And then we got to stop and get a bigger bag. We've got, he's got four of those adults. Goats in there, you call it. That's kid and adult is what they call it. So um, he's got four adults, two billies, really a billy and three nannies. So we probably want to keep all that separate. We'll, we'll probably put the three nannies in one bag, the adult billy, because if you separate it, if you separate it out, it, depending on the quality and all that kind of stuff, you get paid a little bit more. So it's worth the time to separate it. He's got two kids. We probably won't separate the billy kid and the nanny kid. We'll probably just stick them both in there together since it's just two, two uh, fleeces. And then uh, but we'll probably put the three adult nannies in one bag and then put the adult billy in one bag. So we need one, two, three. We can probably get we can probably get them all in there. I think I'm gonna chance it, guys. I'm gonna chance it. Worst case scenario, yeah, we throw one of the one of the nanny fleeces in with the billy or something. Worst case scenario. So, all right, guys, we'll pick you back up when we get over to the other ranch where the shearers are gonna meet us. All right, guys, so we're out here at the barn getting ready to <clears throat> the man that owns this place. They've already sheared part of his goats, his kids, and. Uh, Got a sack full. It's a small sack, but we're going to show you how they sew it up. So this is full of full and stomped of mohair. Going to get her sewed up. How long you been shearing? 40 years. 40 off years. 40 years, off and on. Since I got out of school. You probably started out stomping sacks, huh? What's the most you've ever sheared in a day by yourself? Just sheep. Sheep or two hundred and fifteen sheep. In Wyoming. One day. And just goats. just you. Just just, me. just you. And goats, two forty. Two forty. A little easier to shear a goat? No, they're lighter. Lighter, they're okay. Lighter. They're lighter. Alright, Clance, well let's get yours run over there here. Yo, yeah. All right, y'all, so Clance are going to push his goats. So we take them from the bigger pen in here into this little yes, smaller sir. pen, and that makes it a little easier for the shearers to catch them. After he gets his goats pushed over, I'm going to show y'all their shearing machines right quick. They don't really know where to go because they got so much hair on their eyes, I can't hardly see it. So you got to get one that knows where she's going. Come on, buddy. Come on. So I'm going to give you a look here at their shearing machines. You just got a little electric motor that turns this shaft and it goes all the way down to the shearing head. And then they put them on this piece of plywood. Makes it easy for them to pick up the hair without getting dirt in it. So listen guys, some of these goats are going to bleat and beller. They're not being hurt. They're just getting a haircut. What they'll do is they'll, they'll shear their their belly and their back legs real quick and then as soon as they get that done they'll tie their legs and shear the rest of them so let's take a look
you know, occasionally they'll nick one, but it's, you know, it's just the way it goes. It, it ain't, so if you see one with a little bloody spot, it's not a big deal. But I'm going to set you guys up here and just let you watch. Realize that ain't the best place because it's wiggling. But guys, you can see here he's kind of stepping on this goat's neck. It's not hurting her; it's just to keep her from flopping around and hurting herself. So, see that that's got some. This goat's got some good locks. See, look at that. That's a good. That's a lot of hair. I think the rule of thumb is mohair will grow. They'll grow the fleece about about an inch a month. So, and it's about six months since we cured these, so they should have about a six-inch lot. So, they charge a little bit more to shear a billy versus a nanny because they're bigger and stronger. Um, the hair is graded on its fineness, its luster, how much oil it has in it. The better the fleece, the more money it brings. Um, it'll be a while before we see what these these fleeces bring, but when we get that back, we'll share that with you guys in a post so you can see. So he's about finished up with this little little nanny right here. Um, just a few minutes there, five, four or five minutes, you know, which is way quicker than we could have done it at home. So. Now he's going to untie her and let her up and then he'll grab another one. But we're going to keep this fleece that is the kid hair separate from the adult hair. So Clancy's writing that down right now. I'm going to go help him and then they'll grab another one. Did you get it on there, bud? Can I just write kid or do I have to put hair too? No, kid's fine. Did you write Clancy on it? Yes, sir. All right. Good? Yep. Good enough. Open your sack up. That feels pretty good. Push down in there, stuff. Grab that little bit that fell right there. Oh, she needs that back for that billy. Just Clancy Archie. Yep. No, I think it'll be fine. So guys, here's here's one lock of that little you that little kid's nanny kid's fleece, you know. So that's uh that's what it's gonna look like and then you can see if I don't know if I can get that to focus on that or not. You can see how fine those hairs are, so that's one of the determining factors in whether it's good or not. So, so I want to show you all something. So you see the big difference in that little nanny kid and what she looked like before she got torn and after. <laughs> These goats, it'll take them, you know, till the end of the day to figure out who each other is because it's been so long with all that hair in their face since they've seen each other. It'll take them a little bit to get used to each other again to say, oh, you're, you're, that's who you are, okay? So, um, so we're about, they're still finishing up the, the Billy kid here. And over here we got one of the nannies going. And we got two nannies left here. And then old Poncho the big Billy.
So when we get kind of finished up, I'll go over some of the numbers on like what it costs us to have them sheared. It's probably going to be cheaper, more expensive, depending on where you're at in the country and how many, who your shearers are. But um, we'll, we'll share it with you what, what we're having to pay here. So we'll be back in a little bit. Well, guys, we made it home. Me and old Clarence and the goats here. So I'm going to flip y'all around and let y'all see what the goats look like with all their hair slicked off. So here's everybody, old Venus right here. There's old Poncho right there with the big horns. And then the little Billy right here. So everybody's slicked off and looking good. Got their haircuts ready to go. All right guys, so that's the end of our day today. That's our shearing and everything. Um, if you got any questions or comments drop them down below let us know what you thought about it if you got any questions or anything let us know i know one of the questions we're going to get is you know it's february y'all sheared all that hair off of them what are they going to do are they going to freeze to death well they still got you know about as much hair as a goat would have on them a regular goat and um they're they're a little they're a little bit cool i mean it's not real cold but we're going to have some good 70 degree days so they're going to be fine and uh if it gets wet or something like that, we're going to keep the barn opened up where they can come up in the barn and, and get out of the out of the wind and the rain. So a little shed too. That's right. We do have a couple little metal sheds that they can get in and get out of the wind and the rain. So I'm not concerned about them. This is just, this has happened to them their whole lives. It'll, I mean, people have been doing it for, you know, 100 years plus. So they're going to be fine. It was really, it's good to get them sheared now because before they get ready to kid because with all that hair on there when they go to kidding, Sometimes it's hard for those kids to find the sack, the bag, so that they can, uh, their mother's bags, the udder, let's, let's use the correct terminology, Cody, their udder so that they can nurse. So um, we're going to turn everybody out. I'm going to get back here and let y'all watch them shoot out. Hang on, bub. Yes, I did. All right, bub, turn them loose. They'll probably go to there and stop. Well, they went a little further than I thought they would. Now they can see, so they're like, go anywhere. Yeah, they hadn't, y'all may not pick it up since I got the microphone on, but they hadn't seen much of this pasture because they've had so much hair over their face. Um, so they're probably going to go explore a little bit now. But they kind of stopped right there and went to eating. So that's what we like to see. All right, guys, like I said, like and subscribe. Let us know if you got any comments. Appreciate all y'all do for us watching. There's old Eric and C-Bob, and y'all keep ranching.